Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. Playmates Toys has been having quite the couple Ninja Turtle days uh, ever since yesterday, and now today, a couple new reveals here and there. We're going to be talking about the ones that they have personally revealed. There are a couple that they're... We're also kind of leaked, but we'll wait for the full reveals. That way, we can have the full details as to uh, get everything correct right off the bat. So, in talking about Playmates Toys, you know them. They make those fancy Ninja Turtle figures. Who doesn't these days, right? But, over on the Walmart app, not to say that these will be a Walmart exclusive. We'll wait to have more details, but they were available on the Walmart app yesterday, I had the links all posted on my Instagram. They are going to be doing a new set of their retro re-releases, this time dealing with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Sewer Heroes. And it's going to be four individually carded action figure. It's kind of sort of bringing back the old 80s, early 90s Ninja Turtle figures, right? So these Sewer Heroes will be no exception. So first and foremost, you get Super Dawn. Mighty Bebop comes with his fisty shield. Rhino Man comes with his rhino plated shield, turtle terminating laser gun, kind of like the boys at this point, right? And then, unfortunately, uh, in the write up, Michelangelo did not uh, get uh, you know, any more details than what you see on screen. But of course, like I said, four individually carded inside a collector box. They're really knocking it out of the park with the artwork on these boxes. I open each one, I take the figures out. I like the artwork a whole heck of a lot, but uh, they were running about 50 bucks. Very cool box set, nonetheless. I'll put the link down in the description below. They'll probably go back into stock eventually, just FYI. Or they may be available elsewhere. I'll put the links for that when they become available. But in either case, if you want this Sewer Heroes box set, well, you can grab it on the Walmart app. Now, moving on into Netflix territory. Everyone's favorite Netflix and chill streaming platform, at least... It was. Hey, did you know they're doing a new Rise of the TMNT movie coming out? Deals with the Krang and all that kind of stuff. Well, if I could make an educated guess, right? You have uh, Ninja Turtles and the Netflix, and you got the Ninja Turtle movies, and they could be doing a lot more Ninja Turtle type stuff. And then you have shows like Cobra Kai, right? That's a great show. I actually really liked it. You know what got me into it? Ninja Turtles versus Cobra Kai. So, yeah, there's a bunch of uh, really odd team-ups of happening, including Ninja Turtles and Netflix shows. But Cobra Kai, you say, we want more? Well, now we have Stranger Things. No joke. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, I really did enjoy Season 4 of Stranger Things. I'm anxious to see what they do with Season 5, but I kind of hope they just kind of cap it at Season 5. I think it's kind of running thin in many ways. However, this was a return to form with uh, Season 4, so I'm excited. But hey, you're here for Ninja Turtle news, right? So, of course, the Ninja Turtles will be teaming up with Stranger Things, right? So, there is a full-blown story to this. The Turtles have tracked TCRI's latest illegal experiments from New York to Hawkins, Indiana. Everything happens in this Indiana place, right? Where it's trying to harness the power of the Upside Down. The Half-Shell heroes must team up with Eleven and her friends to try and stop TCRI's next experiment before it succeeds. So hey, you know, I'll give it to them all day. A at least there is a story to it, along with some pretty cool box art. I gotta give it to them on that. I like that you can flip it. So all day, that's pretty cool. But I'll tell you right that I, I was expecting they are just gonna do repaints again, you know, kind of intersplace here and there. No, they're all new figures for the Turtles too. So these are going to be six inch scaled action figures. As far as scaling goes between the human characters and the turtle characters, I I'm not going to worry much about it. It didn't line up with the Cobra Kai. It doesn't line up here. But I am interested in the Ninja Turtles because they are sporting that Mirage classic red bandana each sort of styling. And then you have some very, we'll say, for lack of a better word, toyetic Stranger Things. Not quite McFarlane, not quite Bandai. These are every bit Playmates action figures, which does have its charm to it. And so the first set will be Raphael versus Hopper, which, yeah, I guess that's a that's a decent uh, mashup. Hopper's looking very 80s-ish, right? They come with a slew of accessories, which is really nice. I do like what I'm seeing as far as articulation on the turtles. It remains to be seen as far as the human characters. I'll be honest with you, I'm more interested in the turtles. 
But, uh, you know, Raphael comes with his size. I like that he comes with an 80s style Walkman. Hopper's got a gun, a ah, flashlight, and other weapons of uh, Demogorgon destruction. But I really like the ninja star that's shaped like an ego waffle. I'll give it to him all day. When I first saw it, I was like, that's a really weird looking ninja star. But then I go, oh yeah, ego waffles. Ah, nice, uh, nice spread right there. So again, very odd mashup, but I like interesting Ninja Turtle mashups like this. I got the Cobra Kai ones. I'll definitely be getting these. So as being a huge Ninja Turtle fan, I'm gonna say is uh, yeah, uh, bring on more Ninja Turtles. The weirder, the better, right? I mean, I got Ghostbusters and WWF. Ninja Turtle mashups at this point. Remember uh, Star Trek? It, it, it just it, It's always been mashed up with weird things. And of course, next up, we have Eleven and Leonardo, which, yeah, that's a that's an interesting mashup, I'll just say. One that's like, uh, okay, I, I would hope at some point they would get to like a Demogorgon Shredder kind of thing, right? Or maybe Krang, since it's TCRI related. But, uh, well, I guess you say Utram. But, uh, yeah, you know, Eleven is looking, again, very much like a toy. Not a bad sculpt on her at all. Nice paint. Very 80s. That's the other thing I will say. Ninja Turtles is kind of an odd choice in the sense of the 80s. Yes, Stranger Things and all that takes place in the 80s. Ghostbusters fits so much better. Ninja Turtles, it's a bit of a stretch for me. Like, it fits, but uh, I wouldn't suggest Ninja Turtles. I would say more, I don't know, maybe even Barbie or Transformers, you know, he, I don't know, something like that I think would have fit a little bit better. Ninja Turtle seems a little out of place, I don't know why, but Leonardo, again, he looks pretty cool, red bandana, he's got his katanas, it's pretty much the same accessories, swap out the weapons, of course, for the turtle, Eleven comes with a flashlight, a backpack, and that classic Hawkins walkie-talkie, again, very cool box art for these, I'll give it to him all day, it stands out on your shelf. Now, these are going to be Target exclusive. They're up on the app right now if you want to get it. The first two, at least, they will come out in October. And then February next year, we'll say in and around February 2023, the second set of two packs, which is Donatello versus Lucas and Michelangelo versus Dustin. I really do hope that they get to the rest of the core characters like Mike and Will. You know what I mean? I would say kind of maybe left Hopper out and put in one of the other kids just FYI, maybe Hopper, Shredder, something like that. But eventually, I wouldn't mind seeing them go all out on this. But as always, you've heard my thoughts. I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything weirdo TMNT mashups. What's your favorite TMNT mashups? You can comment that down below. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, oh, yeah, they also did, like, Universal Monsters. They did Power Rangers. They've done Batman. So why is Stranger Things so weird? It's not. Relax. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.